Our team engaged with all the business leaders so we could get everyone on the table and developed an approach which was presented to the whole company. I had the honor to present our ideas and get everybody on board. I still had to convince some who were really cynical about change who thought they might lose the empires they had built. I asked everyone to close their eyes and to imagine that we worked for a company that has broken down all its functional silos. We work together across value streams and are accountable for achieving common goals and objectives. Each team has a shared funding model. Business value is delivered on all technology investment decisions. Customers are happy with their experience. Our company has mastered the use of agile practices from strategy all the way through execution and operations. In such a company, the IT department no longer simply takes orders from the business people. It has a seat at the table with the business and is seen as a strategic partner. Business and IT are one. Strategy development is not just a once a year occurrence. Instead, business and IT work hand in hand continuously to make incremental improvements. We control the products. We need to deliver value digitally. The result is a team of teams capable of delivering our products on time with quality and innovation that delights our customers. The results are always magical. We had previously identified some gaps in our structure due to a high-level assessment that was completed at the end of the previous year. For example, in our ability to execute digital customer management and data-driven insurance product offerings to inform our business architecture, we carried out a SWOT environmental scan with our stakeholders using a questionnaire. Then we brought all stakeholders together under one umbrella to sensitize all information collected. We also analyzed all external factors influencing our environment. We used an organization map to improve our organizational understanding and the context for strategic planning, deployment, communication, and collaboration. We planned our teams to be autonomous and self-organizing, each able to make their own decisions, and our aim was to minimize dependency on other teams so as to create flow and drive value. A very good thing is that our budget is well aligned with our value streams, which helps us to make good investment choices regarding our functional silos. Our silos have broken down so much that redundancy and duplication are almost non-existent. We are agile in our digital product development from the creation of an idea all the way to our operations. Our customers are really happy. We no longer get complaints about being transferred from department to department. We now hear from our customers that they always get immediate support. We also have people processing technology in place for continuous shared customer insight. We are perfectly in touch and in tune with our customers. We achieve this by using outside information, making our customers the key stakeholders. I think the most significant role that anyone played was of the open group standards. The TOGAF standard was used as our architecture method for determining the work to be done. The IT4IT standard was used to enhance workflows and to ensure the capture of service and product lifecycle deliverables. The Archimate standard was used for modeling the business information systems and technology architectures. The Digital Practitioner Body of Knowledge standard helped the organization develop digital skills and establish an agile and DevOps compatible operating room model. We used the Open Agile Architecture standard to guide the transformation of the architecture capability to become lean and agile.